Hi, Steve with Brownells, here to bring you another gun from the vault. And today we have the Magnaport Stalker, a gun based on the Ruger Super Blackhawk. The Stalker is a specialized hunting tool, and it's got a lot of interesting history behind it. Um, basically, it's the brainchild of Larry Kelly, and Larry Kelly is the guy that founded Magnaport International in, up in uh, Michigan. And this was his ideal hunting gun. And let's face it, Larry Kelly took a lot ahead of game. He knows what he's talking about, everything from uh, antelope to elephant. He's done it all. So let's take a look and see what old Larry thought he needed in a hunting handgun. First off, you had to start with the Ruger Super Blackhawk because he was shooting 44 Magnum loads that would not uh, do well in a Smith & Wesson. He was shooting heavy 320 grain bullets, cast bullets, and hefty powder charges. He was getting some really good velocities out of these. If you look at the gun, the four scope mounts will attest to the amount of recoil you might subje be subjected to. The magnaporting up front helps, which obviously Magnaport International wouldn't send a gun out without magnaporting. But it's got some other things done to it, custom grips, it's got a total action job. It's got a really heavy duty mount. This particular one is a brand new one that was just recently made by Magnaport. It's got a Wigan combat uh, mount and rings on it. And uh, Larry's son, Ken, is running Magnaport and turns these out for customers anytime. You can also get one built on a BFR or a Freedom Arms. A couple other touches. Larry believed in a two power scope. Anything more was just too much, but yet two power was enough to refine your target and place the shot accurately. Because when you're going against a, a large animal, say a Cape Buffalo or a lion, you want to be pretty accurate. He also didn't care much for holsters when he was out in the bush. So he had sling swivels put on and he would wear this around his neck. That worked out the best for him. No holster in the way, no hot holster against your skin. Just a big old gun dangling from your neck, but he was, uh, he was quite comfortable with it in hot weather and cold weather. Another interesting thing is he built these on new models with the 10 inch barrels and chopped the barrel back to eight and three eighths. Same length as a Smith & Wesson. The reason he did it is because there was a lot of published data out there for eight and three eighths inch barrels and he took advantage of that, but continued to progress with even heavier charges and heavier bullets in a lot of cases. But that gave him the optimum balance he felt, optimum burn in your powder charge. It delivered the goods. And another thing about this gun is there's some cosmetic work done that is really kind of unique. These little turnings here, these highly polished areas contrast nicely with the finish that Magnaport put on the rest called Velvet Hone. Just a beautiful gun with a jeweled trigger and hammer. It's got the little uh, scrimshaw lion right here. And as big as this gun is, it does not feel ungainly. When you lift it up, it points. It really feels good. It's not too heavy. That's a lot of my life, I've, sh I've shied away from putting optics on handguns. I don't like the weight. But this package here with an aluminum mount, the rings, the small scope, is really quite comfortable. They really did a nice job. They did their homework. And Larry has harvested hundreds of head of game, large game, like I said, up to elephant with this gun or with one just like it. But he's done a lot of dangerous game hunting and he was able to do it because he got the gun the way he wanted it. Now, like I mentioned earlier, these guns are still being made today by Larry's son, Ken. And if you're worried about that generational gap, uh, is he gonna do a good job? I got news for you. Ken's been running that shop for a long time. When Larry was out hunting, it was Ken turning out the guns all that time. So yeah, you're in good hands. It's a one-man shop. Ken will handle it from beginning to end. Now we're looking forward to taking this out and seeing what it'll do, even though it is January here in Iowa and it's pretty cold out. If you have any comments or questions about this, or if you own one and have taken some game with it, please let us know in the comments. We'd like to hear from you. If you haven't, hit that subscribe button. We'll see you next time when we bring you another gun from the vault. <laughs>